Number 7. 1917 Standing Liberty Quarter Dollar, Type 2, Graded Mint State 64 Full Head by PCGS. Sculptor Herman McNeil's approved models were replaced without his knowledge, leading to valid complaints. After the initial release on January 17, 1917, Mint Director Von Engelken sought permission from Treasury Secretary William McAdoo to allow McNeil to submit revised models. Congressional approval on July 9 facilitated these changes, resulting in the coin known as Type 2. Collectors recognize notable alterations, including a re-sculpted Liberty figure with a revised hairstyle, a shield with fewer rivets, a different gown flow, and a breastplate of chain mail covering her bosom. This elusive specimen was sold for $1,260. Number 6. 1945 Lincoln Cent Struck on Ethiopian 5-Cent Planchet. According to Stax Bowers, the foreign planchet is heavier and thicker than that intended for U.S. cents in 1945, 3.11, grams, providing abundant metal to fill even the deepest recesses of the design elements in the dies. As such, we note full, razor-sharp definition to both sides. The surfaces are attractively original with light golden brown toning to dominant mint color in medium reddish rose. It was sold for $1,920. Number 5. 1964 D. Lincoln Cent Struck on a Silver Dime Planchet. Graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS. Well centered in strike, virtually the entire Lincoln design is evident despite the slight size differential between the Cent Dies and Dime Planchet. Only at the borders do we note a touch of softness, but even there at least partial detail is evident to the design elements. Satiny and smooth with a dusting of pale gold to otherwise light silver-gray surfaces. It ended up selling for $1,920. Number 4. 1971 S. Eisenhower dollar struck 25% off center and with traces of clash dies. Graded in Mint State 65 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, widely off-center toward 9.30. Most of United and one are absent. The date and mint mark are complete, but the other obverse legends become Erty and God we rust. Struck from clash dies, with the outline of Ike's head prominent on the central reverse field, and the first U and Unum clashed on the obverse east of the E and we. Lustrous and well-preserved with delicate powder blue and chestnut gold patina. It was sold for $3,720 on January 12, 2024. Number 3. 1942 Proof Washington Quarter Dollar. Graded as PR68 by NGC and later certified by CAC. According to Stax Bowers, this is an exceptional example of the proof 1942 Washington Quarter, both sides with crescents of intense, multicolored iridescent patina around the peripheries. Otherwise lightly toned in pale silver, the surfaces are uniformly mirrored in finish with a virtually pristine appearance. Impressive condition rarity from a mintage of 21,123 coins, the 1942 the final proof in this series struck prior to 1950. It was bargained for $4,800. Number 2. 1939D Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. Blushes of bronze and reddish apricot iridescence adorn the peripheries of an otherwise brilliant obverse. The reverse, equally attractive, exhibits a halo of lemon-yellow peripheral color around a frosty white center. This lustrous and virtually pristine example will nicely represent this semi-key date 1930s quarter issue with a mintage of 7,092,000 coins. It ended up selling for $14,400. Number 1. And here is 2001 D. Lincoln Cent Mule with a Roosevelt Dime Reverse. Graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. A mule is a coin struck from mismatched dies. In the long history of the U.S. Mint, if patterns are excluded, a total of perhaps 30 mules are known. Best known of all is the circa 2000 Golden Dollar, quarter mule that pairs a Washington State quarter obverse and a Sacagawea dollar reverse on a Sacagawea dollar planchet. About 20 examples of that mule are confirmed, and they regularly command six figures at auction. The state quarter, Sacagawea Dollar Mule is ranked number one in the 100 Greatest U.S. Era Coins Reference. Heritage has auctioned all four known examples of the 2001 D-Cent, Dime Mule, and it is interesting to compare images of the four coins. The present lot appears to possess the best eye appeal, because the other three coins display many minuscule toning flecks. 
It was sold for $114,000 on January 11, 2024. We hope you enjoyed this journey as much as we did. If you haven't tuned to CoinOz yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things coins. God's willing, see you in the next video.